I haven't read that many classics. Like, I've read... I was gonna say The Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars is not a classic. What am I doing with my life? The Night Circus by Mor I was gonna say Morgan Matson, and that is not who it is. Wow. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a book tag. It's the New Year's Resolution book tag, and it was originally created by Char Frayers or something like that. Probably saying it very wrong, but I'll leave their link down below if you want to check out that video. Basically, the whole point of this tag is to just give some books that you want to read based off of the questions. So, you know, your typical tag video. So, without further ado, let us get started. The first question is an author that you want to read and that you haven't read before. So I'm going with Lee Bardugo because I haven't read the Grisha trilogy. Like, why? And also I haven't read the Crooked Kingdom duology. Why? I don't know. I have this book, so like, I should be able to read it. I just haven't yet, and I really should because I've had this book for like two years now. And everybody seems to love this author, so why have I not read it? I ask myself this every time I look at my bookshelf. The second question is a book you'd like to read. So I'm assuming this is just any book you want? So I'm going with Truth Witch by Suzanne Dennard and I recently got this and I'm so excited to get to it. i am already started it so like I've read 180 pages ish and it's kind of confusing and I don't really know what's going on to be honest but I'm enjoying it nonetheless so we'll see how I actually feel about it when I finish. But I got an arc of Wind Witch so I have to read this one so that I can read Wind Witch. You know what I'm saying? The third question is a classic that you'd like to read. I've read Like To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, Lord of the Flies, Jane Eyre. Like, I've read a couple classics, but I haven't really read that many because I don't really find them that enjoyable because of the writing style, I guess. So, if I had to choose one, I would probably say The Great Gatsby because I saw the movie and I really liked it. So I feel like it could be an interesting book, but... Who really knows with me? Number four is a book that you'd like to reread. I don't really reread books, so I don't have an answer for this. Because I just, I don't like to reread things because I already know the story. And if you know me, I don't like being able to call the story. So if I've already read the story, I know what's going to happen. So it's just, it's just a no from me. Number five is a book that you've had for ages and want to read. I'm going to say The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstein. And I've had this on my shelf for a million years. It's one of my mom's favorite books. Everybody who's read it has said how amazing it is, and I just haven't read it yet. So this is the book that I want to read. It's gonna happen this year. Hopefully, I'm gonna make it happen. Number six is a big book that you'd like to read, and I don't know if this really counts because like it goes by so quickly, but I'm going to say Tricks by Ellen Hopkins because Ellen Hopkins is my bae. But like, it's a big book, but like you can read it in like two hours. So like, does it really count? I don't know, but we're gonna go with it. Number seven is an author that you've read before and want to read more of. I'm going with Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is her book, Vinyl. She's coming out with Radio, which is the second book in this trilogy in March. Well, it comes out later, but like the review copies are coming out in March and I'm fortunate enough to get one. So I'm like so excited about this. You don't understand. I love this book. It's so good. And this is her debut. So then I'm going to get a sequel and then she's also working on a fantasy series and I just, <gasps> I'm so excited. Number eight is a book that you got for Christmas and would like to read. I only got Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman for Christmas and I already read it. So I'm going with a book that I got around Christmas time. If that counts, we're making it count. And that is The Watcher by Ross Armstrong. And I'm so intrigued by this book. Like, literally, the back only says I'm not ready to talk yet. And then the front says she's watching you, but who's watching her? And that's literally all it says. And, like, it, what is this even about? I don't know. It was on my doorstep one day. So I'm excited about it. And I'm going to read it. And it seems like a mystery thing, and that excites me. Number nine is a series you want to start and finish. And I'm going with... The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. No, I have not started this. I don't have an excuse. It was in my top five series I want to start in 2016, and it never happened. So, shame on me. Number 10 is a series that you've started and want to finish. And again, another shame on me thing. It's The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I got to book three. I'm on City of Lost Souls now. And I just haven't got into it. It was also in my, uh top five series I want to start in 2016, and I did start it, but I did not finish it, so, uh, failure again. Number 11 is, do you set any reading goals, and if so, how many books do you want to read this year? 
I do set reading goals usually and my Goodreads challenge this year is 125 books. Because I read 134 last year so we're aiming a little lower than what I actually read but I was also off school for a really long time because of my concussion so that's probably why I read so many books. So I'm probably aiming way too high but you know, optimism is key. And then number 12 is any other reading goals, and if you're interested in my reading goals, I'll just like link my uh, New Year's resolutions for booktube up there and you can check that out. Self-promotion, there you go. Are you curious? Probably not, but you should check out the video anyways. Alright guys, so that was the New Year's resolution book tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know a little bit more of what I want to do with my reading life this year. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!